Welcome everyone to the biostatistics class. In today's lecture, we will discuss introduction to biostatistics and its application in wildlife studies. World of biostatistics. Biostatistics is the applied interdisciplinary field which has the application of statistics to solve problems in various fields like ecology, biology, medicines, environmental issues, public health and care issues, genetics, etc. It is also an interesting field as it moves maths and statistics, computer science and analysis domains and produce output in form of research content and software development. Because nowadays, there is a numerous data being generated worldwide and biostatistics is the only tool to analyze the data effectively and produce some interesting and true outcome. Therefore, it develops a novel strategy to discuss the emerging problems through study design, process and analysis of that specific research. Biostatistics is relatively a young discipline that evolved during the last century to become an important aspect of all the sciences. Statistics is a familiar and accepted part of the modern world. The word statistics is used to in two senses. The first refers to collection of quantitative information and method of handling that sort of data. For an example, listing or counting of species. Secondly, it refers to drawing of inferences on the basis of collected data. For say, about a large group on the basis of observations made on smaller ones or say census surveys where calculation of informative data at small to large scale or regional scale provides some interesting output to solve the problems. Therefore, the goal of biostatistics is to disentangle the data received and make valid inferences that can be used to solve problems in relating field of research of the observer. So, likely to solve this problem, it includes both descriptive and analytical domains. At this time of high throughput experiments or studies, researcher efforts or scientist efforts in the field come out in the form of mountains of data. But without knowledge of biostatistics and the techniques required to summarize, analyze and interpret these data, it is almost meaningless because we are very limited in what we can learn from our observations. This will in turn inhibit our ability to move forward in our research. So, the reasons for studying biostatistics in one way is to represent our data in meaningful way or to draw some interesting inference. Secondly, it makes us able to read and evaluate some scientific publications, research articles to effectively conduct research to further develop critical thinking and analytical skills. Suppose there is a paper of Lehman on feeding behavior of lions, panthera leo on a small reserve. And here is the abstract portion of this research paper. If you will see this abstract look quite simple, but when you will read it out carefully, you will definitely find some statements treated with biostatistics. So, I will read this abstract from here. A total of 662 cases were recorded with blue wild beast, warthog, waterbug, zebra and impala being the most preferred species. Although there was preference for these species, an adult prey were favored. There was no significant selection. Here we have found the statistical treatment with this research in the form of no significant selection for prey size, age or gender. There was a significant difference. Again, we have found the same statistical treatment. Significant difference in the number of kills made when the two male coalition was present as opposed to the single pride male. 
The solitary pride may spend significantly more time with the females and shared most of their kiss. And during this period, dispersing some adult males killed a substantial amount of prey when separated from the pride. So here, once more we have encountered the statistical treatment that solitary pride males spend significantly more time. And on the basis of collected data and after treating with some biostatistics, authors have tried to draw inference from this collected data or produce some outcome of this information which has been collected in the field. So, knowledge on predator feeding behavior is important for managers to assess impact on prey populations in small reserves in order to manage them correctly, thereby preventing depletion of such populations. After reading this abstract, we have come to know that without understanding of biostatistics or its terminology, we cannot justify the claim which has been made by authors in the conclusion. In that way, the knowledge of biostatistics is quite necessary to reach to any decision. Therefore, it makes results more meaningful when attached some statistical treatment to any given study. Like afterthought, to make the study more respectable is unlikely to be convincing. Basic concepts of biostatistics and their applications and interpretation include topics like descriptive statistics, graphics, probability distribution, diagnostic test, life tables, inference, regression. It has been playing an important role in a wide range of applications. For example, it includes the designing of biological or ecological experiments or experiments of the observer's interest, evaluation of the spread of problems or say disease, modeling and hypothesis generation. As we know that biological data are highly variable. So range, mean deviation, standard deviation, coefficient of variation serve as measures of variability. So here it is imperative that we should understand the basics of probability, statistical distributions, simple parametric hypothesis test. There are certain limitations with the application of statistics. It can help a researcher, investigator or a scientist describe data design, experiments and test hypotheses about relationships among things or events in which a person is interested. It is a tool which helps a person to accept or reject the hypothesis within recognized degrees of confidence. But it never proves anything, rather it indicates the likelihood of the results being the product of the chance. Biostatistics is playing a key and vital role in biodiversity studies and management, or say, wildlife ecology and management. Wildlife resources or biodiversity resources constitute a vital link in the survival of human species and have been a subject of fascination, interest and research all over the world. But wildlife population is not always static. Its number sometimes increases and sometimes decreases even at different places in the same species. In other hand, wildlife habitats are under severe pressure either due to the danger of extinction of a species or the pressure comes from human beings due to their increasing demands. It is also creating endangerment for the wild fauna which is occupying that same natural habitats. So management of animal population of an area calls for an estimate or census of the number of animals. Statistical concepts in this regard help wildlife biologists or researchers or scientists in how to analyze data, recognize good data, sampling, analysis of large amount of data collected, population studies and management of animal species. This application of statistics deals 
with some births deaths migration habitat destruction predation and other threats on animal population i hope this video will help you out to understand the importance of biostatistics